Good afternoon to you. Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane Outlook and discussion for August the 10th, 2016. Thought I would show this graphic again. Where are we on the scheme of things? Well, we're right here in the middle between August 1st and August 20th. See if I can draw a straight line. Hey, look at that. It points to that little valley right there. See that? Clear as day right there. Uh, so it's supposed to be quiet right now. Uh, that's just coincidence, probably. Yeah, maybe it's not. Maybe that dip is there for a reason. You see you have these uh, two spikes here, and then you have this pretty pronounced valley, this dip, and then it goes back up with a pronounced increase in activity towards September the 10th. The point is that we are beginning the rise in the climatological amount of storms and hurricanes that we have seen. In other words, things are supposed to get busier from here on out. Uh, but they're not as of late. So after today, August 10th, things should start to climb, and then they kind of level off, and there's a really steep increase in expected activity. Well, today, nothing going on in the Atlantic Basin to speak of at all. The main development region out here, just as cloud-free as it could possibly be, a little bit of a uh, convective activity entering the western part of the MDR, the main development region, approaching the leeward and windward islands. No consequence here to speak of other than some showers and thunderstorms. This sort of weird low pressure system still hanging around the Gulf Coast. If it was sitting out here, uh, it would be on its way to probably becoming a hurricane eventually, but it's not and it doesn't look like it will be. This is sort of the leftover tropical wave energy, part of which may be some 96L in there uh, another tropical wave surge came off, moved up, and it's just in an unfavorable environment overall, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Even in the eastern Pacific, things are calming down here. This area only a 20% chance over the next five days. So the western hemisphere really starting to calm down, especially the eastern Pacific. And after we had Hurricane Earl that tracked across into Belize and then made its way over it became Javier with some moisture and energy over in the eastern Pacific as well. Uh, and that's contributing to a lot of moisture in the southwest, making for some great sort of monsoon pictures. It's not really a true monsoon. We'll get into that maybe some other day if we don't have anything else to talk about. But the uh, advection or the lateral movement of moisture into the southwest United States from these systems, yeah, it makes for some very awesome cloud formations over the typical arid southwest and of course northern Mexico. So sea surface temperature anomalies for the week continue to be very very warm in the main development region. The western Atlantic been saying this for months and the Pacific still cooling fairly large area through here. More of a neutral signal overall it certainly isn't El Nino uh, but the Atlantic is way above normal and uh, in most locations uh, especially here in the main development region uh, right off the Iberian Peninsula. But you really can't say enough about the Western Atlantic, but there's nothing to take advantage of it right now. And here's part of the reason why. Huge area of dry, stable, and maybe dust-laden air coming off Africa are really going to shut down the Eastern Atlantic for the time being. Even the tropical waves over Africa, really not that robust right now. And there's a reason behind all of this, at least we can kind of see it. The why behind the reason is beyond my capability to explain, but we can at least look at you know, what's causing this. Well, here's North America. All right, there's the Carolinas, Florida, the Gulf Coast, Yucatan, etc., Central America, California, blah, blah, blah. You see it? All right, and there's South America there, West Coast of Africa here. You get the idea. Well, check it out. An enormous chunk of the globe is covered in these brown lines here. What does that mean? Uh, downward motion in the atmosphere, subsidence. The air, the 200 millibar levels, just not favorable for upward motion. So the air through here is sinking, 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 so you're not having tropical waves really getting going over Africa, and anything over the Atlantic is subject to this subsiding air. When the air is subsiding and sinking, it's very difficult to produce upward motion or thunderstorms 
or as we call it, convection. Where's the green? Which is, you know, green means go usually, right? Well, that's confined over here to the Western Pacific. Uh, the way this Mercator map is, of course, you can't show it in three dimensions and spin a globe or whatever. Maybe one day we can do that with some neat uh, augmented reality like they have on the Weather Channel sometimes. But you see all these areas in here where these are seedling storms and typhoons about to develop. And so this region is going to be very busy in the western. Hey, it looks like some kind of a face. <laughs> I'll take it away. Um, I, I did that totally by accident. The western Pacific will uh, be very busy. And once we see this change, and it should, it doesn't have to. You know, the weather doesn't have to do things that we think it's going to do. But you would think that it should as we get towards uh, September. And we got to remember, it is only August 10th. And then, you know, a lot of people are starting to wonder... Where's the hurricane season? But remember, we have a ways to go. And don't be fooled. We could have a very busy September into October. Uh, and if stuff's in the western basin forming, well, that's closer to land. So just, you know, we shall see what we shall see, right? Uh, and that's it. So enjoy the quietness. Um, I will do the weekly, uh, this week in hurricane history, but I'm going to do it on Friday. We'll just kind of move it. To the other side of the week uh, so I probably won't do anything tomorrow no update tomorrow because it's just too quiet so let's wait until Friday and I'll put together a really good uh, this week in hurricane history and it's a doozy I'll tell you that I'll give you a hint it's from 2004 and I was there so that'll be exciting to talk about so we'll look forward to that on Friday until then have a great rest of your Wednesday that's all I have for today I'm Mark Suttoth for HurricaneTrack.com as always thanks for tuning in and we'll talk again on Friday.